Sorry about that. I was muted. And actually, I actually have a question for Roger and for Diana, and maybe Noemi, you can chime in too. Uh, so Roger or, or Diana, what happens if PFAS uh, or something with PFAS burns? And what what is that substance? Is that a concern? And also for uh, Noemi, uh, and maybe uh, again, Roger and Diana, is uh, is does brownfields cover PFAS or is this more of a RECRA, the Resource Conservation and Recovery Act issue? Yes, Roger, I'm not sure about burning PFAS. Maybe Diana has more information on that as far as air emissions. There's a lot of information on air emissions even from incinerators online. My understanding is one of the ways they can be broken down is at high enough temperatures. Um, so that is a, a thought being considered for degrading some of these chemicals is at high enough temperatures. I'm not aware that it necessarily changes the chemicals into anything more toxic, but the air emissions from incinerators or other industrial uses can be a source of contamination to surrounding areas. All right, and, and Noemi, are you there? Uh, brownfields, has there been a FIFA site uh, under the Brownfields program that you're aware of? Maybe Noemi stepped out, we'll ask her later. So uh, moving on to the next speakers, 